Hey everybody, Rob Martin here, martinviolinschool.com. So I'm trying to put out as much content as I can while we're all cooped up uh, because of the coronavirus uh, to help keep my students going and um, address issues that they have and help them to continue to grow and learn during this crazy time. Um, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, leave your comments and feedback. I'd appreciate it. Now, um, doing a series on your flesh three octave arpeggios right now. And um, look for the rest of the videos in this series as they come out. Right now I'm gonna do a demonstration of just running through the exercise. Okay, so I'm gonna start with um, a slow to moderate tempo and we're gonna do several bows um, for each arpeggio. So we'll start with, uh, for the arpeggios that are in triplets, we'll do three notes per bow. And for the last two arpeggios, the diminished and the dominant, we'll do four uh, notes per bow. And I wanna emphasize with all of violin playing and, and with all of this technical work that we're doing, the, the point of this work is for us to then be able to take our technique and be able to hear a sound in our head and then be able to realize it on the instrument. Um, and with that in mind, when, when you're playing these arpeggios, really, you know, we'll be, we'll be concentrating very, you know, closely on the left hand and on, on the purity of the intonation and so forth. Um, but don't forget about your right arm and really sing up and sing down these arpeggios as beautifully as you can. So now I'm going to do the exercise a little bit faster and with one bow up and one bow down. So um, you may have noticed in the first run through I didn't use any vibrato. The purpose of that is just so I can really zero in on the purity of my sound and intonation um, without obscuring the pitch with my vibrato. Um, but it's also good to practice at that slower tempo with some vibrato, concentrating on the um, the continuousness of the vibrato, the smooth transfer of the vibrato from finger to finger so that the vibrato never stops. Um, and so that uh, what that also gives you is just uh, it, it makes you put your hand in a position where it can vibrate freely in, in uh, all of those spots. So now we'll do it a little faster.
I hope that video was helpful as kind of an example of um, what those exercises should sound like. I, th I think you can try to play even better in tune and even more beautifully than I can and smooth out your shifts even more than I, than I do. That's a constant um, thing that I'm always striving for. So thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe, leave your feedback. If there's anything, um, any issues that you haven't seen addressed in my videos that you'd like me to uh, make a video about, please let me know. Happy practicing.